Good evening, this is Wesley Fryer, and I'm going to share a screencast of how you can create a Skype cast for really any purpose, but the specific topic for today is our K-12 online conference. And if you're not aware, the web address for K-12 online is www, well, actually just k12onlineconference.org. Uh, in order to create a Skype cast, you can go to the web address www.skypecast.com. And when you go to that web address, it is going to forward you to the Skype domain and the Skype cast page. And the first thing to do is to go ahead and log in. And of course, if you don't have an account, you'll want to go ahead and set one up. I will just log in real quickly with my Skype username and password and it will help if I remember type my password correctly. Once I log in, before creating the actual Skype cast, which is this icon uh, here that says create a Skype cast, I'm going to click on your Skype casts and I'm going to click the link for options because what that's going to do is bring up the time zone and you want to make absolutely sure before you create your Skype cast that your time zone is set correctly and if daylight savings time is observed in your area you're going to want to make sure that the automatic daylight savings time adjustment is also checked. Once you've done those things then you can go ahead and go back to the Skype casts home and you can choose to create a Skype cast. Here in this screen or on this screen you're going to type a subject and the subject of this Skype cast is going to be when night falls discussion and the description is uh, join us as we discuss ideas for the 24 hour culminating event of the K-12 online conference. And I'll put the web address here. The language will be in English. The start time is going to be at 9 p.m. this coming Wednesday. And so I will select 2100 hours since this is set on a 24-hour clock which corresponds to 9 p.m. for my local time on Wednesday October the 11th. Now for the duration I'm actually planning on this being an hour but I'm going to go ahead and set this up for two hours and the reason I would suggest that is because it's always better to have more time rather than less because if I set this to only be one hour and indeed we need an hour and 15 minutes the Skype cast itself will be canceled automatically by the system at the end of one hour. So as a technique, I would suggest putting more time. Skype casts are free to set up. It doesn't cost you any money to do that. For tags, I'll put in K12 online and I'll put K12 online 06 as two tags that would come up in a Technorati search. Uh, then I can choose a graphic that I want and I'll choose that one. And a related web address is going to be the k12onlineconference.org. When I click next, it says that some words are too long. And that may actually be my web address. And I, didn't, I forgot that that was going to be somewhere else. So I'll take that out of my description. Join us as we discuss ideas for the 24-hour culminating event of the K-12 online conference. This will be a 24-hour uh, Skype cast spanning the globe. Uh, volunteer moderators will facilitate each hour or two hour session. All right, leave everything else the same. Click Next and just preview this to make sure everything looks good. It does look good. 
I've already looked at Skypecast community guidelines. So I will click agree and my Skypecast has now been created. In order to find that Skypecast, I'll be able to click on your Skypecast and then find the link that says when night falls discussion. And this web address I can then copy and paste and put that into another web page, email that to other people, post that to my blog, whatever I want to do. And people will actually be able to come here to this web address and join this Skypecast. I'll click on the tab that says on now and you'll be able to see what that's going to look like at the time the Skypecast is ready. So if I wanted to join this Skypecast that's called CMAP Test, I could click this button right here. It would launch my Skype program and it would enter me into the Skype cast. Let me note that one of the advantages of having a Skype cast instead of just calling people on regular Skype is that other people can find you without knowing your Skype username and join your discussion, which could be, I guess, an advantage or a disadvantage, but in this case it's an advantage because we want to invite other people to join in our dialogue. But you're also able to moderate the Skype cast and actually mute the microphones of people who are participating and do other kinds of things. So I hope this has been a helpful screencast for you. Uh, my name again is Wesley Fryer. My blog is Moving at the Speed of Creativity, which you can find at www.speedofcreativity.org. And again, I would encourage you to please check out and plan to participate in the K-12 online conference coming up here in about a week with a pre-conference keynote by David Warlick.